All right. Well, got another video finally um, about this little this little guy here. Um, this is the 12 volt DCF 503E E for extra extra extended. No, I'm kidding. It's extended. Um, yeah, uh, this is the 12 volt because I mean, why would you? Why would you want a 20 volt pack sticking out like that? Come on now. Um, 12 volt pack fits it pretty good. This is the three amp hour grease and oil resistant. It's got the uh, rubberized coating and nice and sealed up there. Um, also have the five amp hour pack over here. Uh, that's you know it's a backup. I like this this three amp hour pack fits it pretty nice. You can see it doesn't stick out past the the trigger. Yes, it's a trigger, not a paddle. This is not an air tool. No hockey guys talking to you with your paddle on your electric ratchets. Um, <clears throat> I feel like a paddle on electric tools unnecessary, but it's just me. I prefer the prefer the trigger. It does have a lock, so you can throw it in your tool bag. Um, right there. You can tell I've I've used it. It's got a little dirt on it. Um, I've wiped it down. It was a lot nastier than this, but uh, it's got me through a lot of jobs here. Um, the neck here, which we should just we should go ahead and measure, because you know, length matters. I mean, that she said length, you know, she said it matters. <clears throat> so we got, if I can get this in, in frame. Let's see, 17 and a half with a battery pack. And then uh, we'll do the width because you know everybody's like, oh my god, they're so big, they won't fit anywhere, they won't fit anywhere. They won't fit anywhere. Like two. Eh, almost two and a half. Almost two and a half on the widest point. And the thing is, is you say, oh, well, that's. That's super wide, I can't get that anywhere. Well, actually, actually, your hand goes right here. And I don't know about you, I, I don't got little hands. Um, so, really the battery does not stick out any more than my hand does when, I'm, when it's on the ratchet. So, you know, that's a, a size reference, I guess you'd say. Uh, it's not gotten in my way, and I've used this for you know everything on the front end of a of a six seven forward and um, a lot of the bigger bigger coming stuff um, and it's chunky. I mean you can hear the gear. It's super. It's got a super gear reduction in here because this fan hooked to the motor, the brushless motor. It spins its ass off uh, compared to what the head spins at the the speed. Uh, plenty of cooling, and so even if you cover up those vents with your hand it's still got a bunch right here and you know there and there and no I haven't had any problems with anything getting in there and you know messing the works up and I've gotten it pretty nasty I've gotten it pretty bad um, on these you got a, a three year on the batteries and a, a one year on the tool uh, you know Milwaukee guys will say well, we got a five year well that's great because you'll probably need that um, you'll probably need the five year yep shots fired um, <clears throat> So, this ratchet, I bought it specifically for reaching in uh, between, you know, the newer style trucks, the, the fans and the accessories and everything, and, and it's done great for that. And it, it's done great for reaching up on top of some of the transmissions to get in the back to pull brackets off and stuff like that. It's, uh, it, it doesn't fit everywhere. I mean, it's, it, it's long, you know. It's, it's a tool. It serves its purpose when I need it, and if it won't fit in where I need it, I, I got other stuff, you know, in this box here to make it happen. So I know they make a, uh, a standard length one, which I believe the head's kind of from here. It, it kind of hooks directly on. It's not, you know, this is all one piece too on this one. I don't know if you see that, but uh, yeah, you know, that'd be probably a nice addition. Um, I don't really see a reason why to get a why you get a 20 volt over the 12 uh, torque test channel great channel by the way love those guys um, they did a test and the 12 volt ratchet actually did 
the same or better than the 20 volt. So for a tool like this, I just, I don't feel like you need, for example, um, I don't feel like you need a 20 volt battery um, hanging off this thing. You know what I mean? Like you can see, I mean, how much bigger that would, that would make it on the back. I feel bad for you guys about the 20 volt version. I really do. Um, you know, I'm sure it still, it still works, you know, it still, still does what it needs to do, but a lot more heft bulk back there, especially right there. You can see that. That's, that's definitely a, a lot bigger. That's a five amp hour. So, I mean, you can go with smaller ones. Let's say, let's say you're a 20 volt guy and you're going with the, the little dinky 1.5 amp hour ones. Well, you know, they don't stick out as much as, you know, about the same. Except for when it comes to the width this way. As you can see, this is it's wider. And that's the smallest 20 volt battery you're going to get right there. Um, so, yeah, this video is already running too long here. Uh, I got more content on the way. Um, if you like stuff like this, uh, like, subscribe. If you, if you absolutely hate it, uh, thumbs down, comment. Tell me why you hate it. Tell me what you do differently. Tell me that you traded all your DeWalt tools for Milwaukee. I don't know. I'll talk to you guys later.